how many times have we been in a situation where we were giving a presentation, either in the classroom or maybe even speaking at a conference, where we didn't necessarily want the audience to interrupt us with questions, or maybe the audience was even too shy to interrupt with questions they had. That's a big problem. So I'm going to share with you in this three-minute problem solver a brand new tool from Google that has been added to Google Slides to allow the audience and your students to ask those questions. My name is Jerry Switek. I am a district technology specialist for the Citrus County School District down here in Florida. So I'm already signed into my Google Drive account and I've started a new slide presentation. This happens to be one uh, for a webinar that I did recently for Simple K-12. And you can see here up at the very top, I have this URL added there. Well, let's take a look and see how I got that there. So here when I launched my presentation, I'm actually going to back out of the presentation here so I can show you. When I, instead of just clicking on the present button, I clicked on the drop down and chose presenter view. Then here in the presenter view, I have the ability to start audience Q&A. So up here at the very top, I simply provide my audience with this URL. And you can see that the address actually stays there throughout my presentation. My audience members then would then go to that URL and they can ask questions. You can see they can also ask questions anonymously. So I'm just going to throw in a quick question here. What is this? And I'll hit submit. Now, on the presenter side, when I'm seeing my presenter view here, I see the question. The audience then can also vote for the questions that are being submitted by the other audience members. So if this is a question that somebody else has, they would give it a thumb up and I would see in my presenter view, this number go up and up and up. And I know then that it's a very important question that multiple people in my audience have. It is an absolutely fantastic new feature that Google has added for free into both personal Google accounts and Google apps for education accounts. So if you haven't yet played with it, I would strongly suggest you sign into your Google apps account create a new Google slide presentation, and then click on that drop down up there next to the present button and choose speaker notes or speaker tools. And you will be able to find the audience tools, the Q and a tool that Google has added. This was your three minute problem solver. My name is Jerry Switek. You can reach me on Twitter at J Switek, J S W I A T E K.